Hey everyone, it's Ben with Playwell. So today I wanted to show this really cool model that I have. Whoa! Sebastian! Nice to see you! You too! So this is one of my old students, Sebastian. And Sebastian, when did I teach you in, in our classes? It was a long time ago, wasn't it? I think I was three. I haven't seen you in many years now, huh? Yes. So what have you been building recently that you, that's been fun or exciting? What are your favorite things I to build? I built these old Lego that my dad got when he was a kid from the garage. I've started to build forts with them. Large, gigantic forts. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. So Sebastian and I are going to look at this really neat model here. And, and Sebastian, what kind of vehicle is this right here? It is a hovercraft. It can go water and land. And, and it, trucks can load onto it. Oh, cool. Now, how does the hovercraft move? What may, what pushes it forward if it can See, go on land and water? These big fans essentially push the air back and then it starts moving. Great, great, great. And you can see with this model, if you turn this wheel, it can turn those fans back and forth and actually steer the hovercraft, which is neat. Now, you mentioned this truck that has some cargo on it. How would you get the truck off of this hovercraft? What can you do? You essentially pull the triggers the right way to get it on the ground. And so you keep turning it and it pushes that ramp down and then you get the truck off. Oh, how neat. So Sebastian, what is this interesting thing on top here? What does that do? This is a crane that could pull this off and on. So Sebastian, which was your favorite mechanism on this hovercraft? It was this little crane. I built another one to help you build it at home. So Sebastian, what's the first step in making our elevator? We have this first thing that we started putting these gear racks on. And what's a, what's a gear rack? A gear rack is the thing that has little pieces on one little bar. So I made this little thing. And when you put this inside, it can keep it steady. So now we got this gear going up and down. But the problem is it will keep on falling. So the next thing we made are these little things that help us not go off. So now it can go up and down. So now we have the car going, but we had a problem. We couldn't get the, this, the axle going through this hole. So what was your solution on that one? So we made this little thing to help it go through that. And now, this little thing could go through the hole. And what is really cool about this is it could take it off, and then you can move the cop truck, and then now it could actually go down and very high. So Sebastian, thank you so much for coming. I had so much fun building with you and looking at this neat hovercraft, and thank you for building this amazing little model to teach people how the the little crane mechanism on the hovercraft worked. Did you have fun with this? Yes. You're going to come back and build with me another day? Yes. Excellent work. So everybody, thank you so much for watching and we hope you learned something new and remember to play well.